and I'm here today to do a book review over The Vampire's Assistant by Darren Shan. The Vampire's Assistant was released October 1st of 2002. It was published by Little Brown Books for Young Readers and there are 256 pages in the U.S. paperback edition. This is the second book in the Saga of Darren Shan series, better known as the Cirque du Freak series. So if you haven't read A Living Nightmare by Darren Shan, then do not continue to watch this video. If you are interested in the series, however, I will put a link up here to my video review of the A Living Nightmare. So basically this book is about a boy named Darren Shan. He is a completely average, normal boy until one day he visits the Cirque du Freak with his best friend. Now his best friend is obsessed with vampires and he is obsessed with spiders. So they watch the Cirque du Freak and later he finds out that his best friend had went back and asked one of the members of the Cirque du Freak to turn him into a vampire because he saw him in an old vampire book and he was a vampire and all this stuff. Crazy stuff happened. Darren is actually going back to steal one of the acts, which is a spider. And this little spider, I forget her name, Okta I think, I think her name is Okta, but he goes back and tries to steal Okta and Okta is a very, very poisonous spider and he bites his best friend. So Darren has to go back to this vampire named Krepsley and ask him to help him save his best friend. And Krepsley agrees to save his best friend but only if Darren will be his vampire assistant. So that's pretty much what happened in the first book. And this book is basically about Darren ignoring what it takes to be a vampire. He refuses to drink human blood because he, re he realizes that it's the last human part of himself, that he doesn't drink human blood. But unfortunately, you in this world, you cannot not drink human blood. As a vampire, you will die eventually. So there's that big whole issue. Krepsley's trying to talk him in to drinking human blood, and Darren refuses. Now, I don't want to say too much else about this, but I will say that it involves a lot of fun things. There's Snake Boy, Evra, which, who becomes one of his good friends. That happens in the first one, plus I'm a spoiler. But him and Darren have a bunch of new adventures with the Wolfman and a bunch of other things going on. So this is a really cute book. As I said with the first book, this series is so light and fun and so easy to enjoy. I'm so glad that I started reading it because it doesn't try to be a huge hit. It doesn't try to be like, it doesn't try to be a money maker basically. It's just a good book and he's just writing it just to have fun. And it, that really shows in the writing because the writing really is fun and the plot is really fun and it's not doing like typical YA things and typical children's novel things trying to get popular because it's just trying to be a good book and it works. Now even though this is technically a middle grades book it is still for everyone I would say because it has a lot of plot and it has a lot of content and not only that it, it's like a real series like what I used to imagine a series was before like Twilight and I started reading really young adult trilogies and things like that, I thought that a series was when it was set in the same world and this one huge issue was going on the whole time, but a bunch of smaller things are happening throughout the whole thing. And that's pretty much what this is about. Um, there's one huge issue with Darren being a vampire assistant and once he's actually going to become a real vampire and then with Tiny and all kinds of other things. There's a bad group of vampires and all this stuff and that's going on continuously throughout the series but in these there's smaller issues going on also and I think that makes it a lot more fun because when you're focusing on just the little things and or not little things when you're just focusing on the big thing the whole time it really kind of takes away from the series when they get so long. The characters in the series are so easy to fall in love with um, like I said it's a children's middle grades book so you can imagine that they have this very adolescent, young feel to everything that they do and it really, really works for the story. Um, I fell in love with Darren and Evra and Prepsley and all of the characters. I really enjoyed reading their perspective, her, Darren's perspective on all these creatures and the Cirque just sounds like such a fun place to be, even if it is a little menacing at times. So I will definitely be continuing on in this series. I've actually already read the third one. So yeah, if you haven't picked up the series yet and you watched this review anyways when I told you not to, shame on you and you should definitely pick it up. And if you have read the first one but you haven't picked up the rest of them yet, 
then you should because they're good and they're really cute and light and fun. I am Jessica with Chapter Chicks. This is my review over The Vampire's Assistant by Darren Shan and this chapter was my favorite.